Today on episode 11, a side-by-side -side showdown between the Weber Smoky Mountain and the Pit Barrel Cooker, because you asked for it. Now, before we get started on today's cook, I want to talk about the Weber Smoky Mountain and the original Pit Barrel Cooker, which are similar in shape and size, but different in primary function by design. You see one is a smoker and one is not. Now let me explain. If you take a look inside, you can see the Weber Smoky Mountain has two cooking grates and a water pan. The Pit Barrel Cooker has some rebar, an optional cooking grate, but no water pan. What the water pan does in the WSM is deflect and absorb direct heat from below to lower the air temperature above. This allows the WSM to comfortably operate at temperatures below 275, which is ideal for traditional low and slow barbecue. And because the WSM runs below 275, it is correctly classified as a smoker. Now because there's not a water pan or heat diffuser in the PVC, the heat not only comes straight up, it also equates to the PVC operating at temperatures at or above 275, what we call hot and fast. And because it runs north of 275, it's not a smoker. Now, I know a lot of folks call it a smoker, but it's not. Even the PVC company website says the Pitbull Cooker is between a smoker and a grill. And they're precisely right. It's kind of in this middle ground. But the missing water pan is part of the PVC's unique manner in which it cooks food by hanging it, vertically in most cases, directly over the coals. When you cook meat in this manner, especially ribs, the rendered fat and juice is able to drip not only down the rack, basting it along the way, but more importantly, it's permitted to drip directly onto the hot coals, which steams back into the air, leaving your food with a unique flavor you can't get from an offset, a pellet cooker, or even the WSM when using the water pan. But the water pan the WSM is removable. Take it out, let the heat rise, drop in a rib rack from Gateway Jump Smokers, and you can cook ribs vertically, just like you can on the pit barrel cooker. This is exactly what I did in episode 10, but some folks said it wasn't fair because I didn't do a side-by-side -side cook. But today, we're gonna do just that. I've got a buddy coming over, we're gonna see which one's best, if there's any difference at all. And since I own both these cookers, I'm gonna tell you what I think of them, pros and cons, and which one might be right for you. So without further ado, let's get to the cook. Now here I removed the uh, charcoal basket from the pit barrel cooker. Here's the original charcoal ring for the WSM. As you can see, they're both roughly the same size. I can almost fit the PVC, well I can, fit the PVC uh, charcoal ring inside this one. Now the ring from the WSM is a bit taller. It probably can hold a bit more charcoal than the PVC, but you should see they're roughly the same size. All right, so I took the painstaking process of counting out 120 briquettes in each of these baskets. Now the Pitbrow Cooker manufacturer's recommendation is to fill the basket and then remove 20 coals and heat them in a chimney and put them back in. As you can see, this basket is pretty well full. What I'm gonna do is take 20 briquettes out of the bag. We're gonna light those and we're gonna put them in the center of these rings and get these fired up. Coals are white hot. Now for smoke today, we're going to use a little cherry. I always love using cherry with ribs. It's really up to you what you want to use. Two good sized chunks here. Alright, All right, so here goes nothing. Let's see if I can get this done here. Alright, so here we got the gateway rack already in there. Take the water pan out, we don't need it. All right, so here I've got two racks of baby bags from Smithfield. I've already removed the membrane. We're going to go ahead and put on a base and binder. I'm going to put on a couple seasonings. Nothing real fancy here. The flavor of these ribs is not what we're going here for. I'm just letting you know what I'm putting on these. And so you can see that it's the same thing put on both sides. Start with some jalapeno mustard as a base and binder. For a base AP rub, we're going to use some Weber's own garlic jalapeno. But just give it a little heat once we add all that sweetness with the next rub and the sauce that will change things. Now this is a homemade rub that I've made. You can make your own rubs at home, it's not very difficult. Now you may or may not be able to see it here, but the, the dome thermometer is reading just under 300 degrees. 
In the pit cooker, we have no idea what it's doing. We do know most people find it hitting just under 300, so I'm gonna guess we're probably pretty close to that. So this is a pretty fair comparison right now. They're, they're running pretty equal, I think. I think, I have no idea what this is doing, but um, so there we go. Let's get the ribs on, make that happen. Come back here in one hour and check on these things and see how they're doing. Ready. Fight. Go just take a look at these ribs. You know, last time I cooked them, I spritzed them every hour. Um, not doing that this time. Pretty good looking rack. See you guys back here in an hour. Alright. Let's take a few minutes and talk pros and cons. Here I'm going to give you the pros and cons of these two cookers in comparison to one another. Let's start with the Weber Smoky Mountain. First and foremost, it's a smoker. Not only by name and use, but it was designed to be one from the ground up. It's versatile. Not only can you do low and slow, but hot and fast too. You can also easily do a reverse sear by taking the midsection off and lowering the top grate right over the coals. It has a lot more cooking surface. With its two cooking grates, you can easily smoke six pork shoulders at once. Since it has an access door and removable midsection, refueling is easy. Because of its adjustable vents, you can close them all down at the end of a cook and save all the unused charcoal. Weber has backed the WSM with a 10 year warranty, so it's going to last you a while. Unfortunately, at $329, it's a bit more expensive than the PVC, but still a great price and very affordable. Initial assembly takes about 30 to 60 minutes, which is longer than the PVC. Clean the water pan of grease and gross water after a cook is no joy. By design, the WSM's lid and how it fits into the midsection keeps grease from dripping on your food and outside the cooker, but the flip side to that, it allows moisture to come inside when it rains, even with the cover on. Leave this thing outside in the summer and you've got yourself a mold factory in no time. Eh, it's full of water on the inside. Moving the WSM is possible when cooking, but not that easy, or safe for that matter. And the last con, I guess, is because the WSM has a thermometer and adjustable vents, there is some brain power required to manage it. Now the Pitbro cooker, well for starters, it's cheaper than the WSM by 30 bucks, and that includes shipping. It's definitely cool looking, there's no question. Because of the hook and hang method, there's plenty of vertical space. You can do up to eight racks of ribs right out the box. Assembly is easy, five minutes maybe. And setup and general operation is easy too. Because there being no top vent and a lid that doesn't allow water on the inside when it rains, you can not only cook in the rain, but you can keep this thing outside too. However, the flat lid will fill up with water and because the grease has nowhere to go once it collects on the underside, it will drip onto your food, so you've gotta keep it clean. The PVC does have a warranty and I'm not sure how long it is, but what I do know is the PBC's website says the PBC only lasts you maybe three to five plus years, which really isn't a long time in my estimation. Other cons, it's not a quote unquote smoker. No low and slow cooking. With that and the fact that you can't easily reverse sear, it's just not as versatile as WSM. There's no access door or easy way to refuel this thing, but since it cooks a lot hotter, you may never need to refuel it. But if you do, you'll be taking everything outside to do it. Lastly, there's no way to extinguish your coals and save them once you're done cooking. Now one subscriber told me you could get some magnets online and put them over the holes, but out the box there's just no way to do that, so that's a negative in my book. Now the thing I like most about the PBC, besides it being cool and simple, is this. It's made in America, it's owned by a veteran, and it's not a huge corporation. The owner was putting his cell phone on every PBC for the longest time. Probably not anymore, but that's awesome. Either way, both are great cookers. Similar in shape and size, different in primary function, but equally turn out some great food. I think I might just go with the wrap for 20 minutes maybe. Yeah. 
heat up our barbecue sauce here. Hensy State's barbecue sauce. Won some awards apparently. Woo! It's hot. These are off the uh, PVC and then off the Water Smoking Mountain. You can see they're pretty well done. Bone showing through. 203, 206, 208. I mean, they're definitely done. And that does look delicious, I will say. <laughs> you want to drink that, don't you? I do. A little darker than I wanted, but uh, you know, still good. All right, PVC on the left. Let's go WSM on the right. Alright, so we'll do the Malcolm Reed trick and we'll make a nice boat. Wish me luck. PBC, rubber smoking mountain. I mean, honestly, I don't see much of a difference. Tell me. Yeah, that one. Right, this is the first one. It's pretty good. Huh. Why are you eating my rib? You see that juice fly out? Mm hmm. Right, that's a pretty clean bite. That's really good. Now, this one doesn't have as big a smoke ring. Alright, I gotta be honest. This one might be a touch bit tastier. Really? But. They, to they both are pretty equal. They're both equally juicy. But not smoky, though. No. So what's the verdict? Which one's which? I can't say one's better than the other. No. I think they're pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. In the end, I think we both agree the ribs were pretty much equal. No losers, just winners. This wasn't about how to cook ribs. It was more which one is going to be better. But I think the answer to that question is really neither they're both going to be good now if you're just getting started into grilling i think the pepper cooker is a good start for you if you're looking to get into more low and slow smoking water smoking mountain is probably your go-to there is a little more tinkering involved here but i enjoy it there's a reason why a lot of us get into barbecues because we want to spend time in the backyard tinkering and messing with things well, that's my video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not like i always say what i always say Now, two, ready, fight! Hope you learned something. No, I certainly did. Thanks for watching.